Hi, Victoria from HBA and Compass, and we've got today's why question, which is why do I need to search the government registers before setting up my company? Now that's quite an easy question to answer. The ASIC will not let you have a company in the same name as another registered company or a registered business name. Now the only exception to that is if you are the owner of the business name. So for instance, if I had a, a, a business called Victoria's Bookkeeping, and I wanted to start a company called Victoria's Bookkeeping Proprietary Limited, I could do that because I own that business name. If there's another Victoria down in Tasmania who owns that business name, I can't have it. I can't set my company up as that. However, you can make slight changes. So I may be able to put Victoria's Bookkeeping Queensland Proprietary Limited. It's a bit of a grey area, so what we suggest that you do is always search the ASIC register for companies and business names that you might want to register. See if someone else has it, see if you can change the spelling, um, add something else to it. Keeping in mind that if you change the spelling and it sounds like the same company, or you just put a Queensland in and it sounds like the same company, you want to make sure that people aren't getting confused with your business versus their business. In today's world where businesses can move interstate or via the web all over the world, you really want to make sure that you're not getting mistaken for somebody else or somebody else isn't getting mistaken for you. You want to make sure that your reputation is as squeaky clean as you can make it at all times. So that's my why question for today. I'll see you on the other side.